in December 2020. At three different locations, three New Year celebration events are waiting for their audio system to be ready. But before they arrived at the venue, the work has already begun. We will walk you through the process of how to make a great audio system for a show. The following steps are used for a show. Firstly, when you get requests in the early stage, you need to communicate with the audio director first. As the form for the programs and the impact of these forms on sound reinforcement should also be considered. After the communication with the audio director, we have a basic knowledge of what he or she needs to get to the next step, which is the director team, so we can find out their ideal choreography and performance presentation. Then, after all these communications have finished, we can proceed to modeling. Modeling is an important task, especially for large-scale performances because you won't have enough time or the opportunity to modify things on site. Before we move to the venue, let's listen to Mr. Her's challenge at Heiko. The design of the stage is quite different this time. The loudspeaker is at the very back of the stage, so when the performers move to the front of the stage, there is potential for feedback issues. As the system has already been modeled in sound vision, Mr. Her knows he has to change the coverage angle of the K2 cabinets to minimize feedback problems, even before he arrives at the venue. What we actually solve on set are small problems. For example, we can move the location or the height of the enclosures or make other small changes. Big problems should have been resolved in advance. At Shenzhen, Mr. Jing is doing exactly what Zhou has mentioned, changing the height of the array. This is the third year running we have worked on countdown party projects at the same venue. So, I think we know this venue well, and it's a piece of cake for us to solve any problems. When I arrived on site, the sound for the audience was fine, and I was okay with what we had. However, the reflection from the audience area was too much if you were standing on the stage. That's why I asked the sound engineers to recalculate the setup of the entire main system, including the height. After lowering the array, the system is ready for tuning. Joe will tell us his secrets for the tuning process. The software I'm using here also is a hardware unit called P1, which is the test platform dedicated to L acoustics and is fully integrated in our amplifier control software. The P1's sweep signal method was used. With this method, we can edit signals, adjust gain, delay and EQ offline after all the signals are swept which is very convenient for our work. It sounds like the system is ready to go. But before the L acoustic systems can make any noise, the consoles have to run properly. Otherwise, the only sound you can hear is silence. Let's take a look at what Zhoujian TV is using. We use seven Digico SD series consoles in our system with an SD7 for the bands and program mix, four SD5s for front of house and monitors respectively, and an SD10 and an SD9 are dedicated to the vocal mix. Digico is not just for Zhejiang TV. Hunan TV and Dragon TV 
are both using Digico 2. Mr. Xiao will tell us the most important thing about a show and the reason they are using Digico. The designs of most sound systems are similar and meet the requirements of the director, which is that the show always comes first. This is a must. Also, there's a particularly important issue, which is reliability. How do we make the show go well in terms of the equipment, the personnel training, and the technical support for the system? Ensuring their functionality and absolute reliability are what you need. That's right. The key word is reliability. We have two SD5s at front of house. They are connected with fiber optic loop and are a mirrored pair as they share an interface box. We consider the reliability of the whole system. One console is only used as a backup and is completely mirrored with the main console, which means that should one fail, the other can take over. This guarantees the show will go on whatever happens. When using a fiber optic loop, not only do you have a redundant console system, but you also have the gain sharing feature which is another key to making the system more stable. And Mr. Her will explain this to you. I personally think the whole optical loop for the Digico system is extremely stable. For example, if we have an OB, PA, monitor and multi-channel broadcasting, and this is a huge audio splitter system. And five stage boxes were used for the system each made up of 56 I.O., hundreds of channels of signals, even before it goes into splitters. If divided, it quadruples, and the need for XLR cables will be a nightmare, which would make the system vulnerable. As important as the quality of the equipment is, good teamwork can make things much easier. Mr. Xiao points out that every single position in the team is equally important and that Rome was not built in a day. Everyone counts for the whole project, even including the assistant. Skill and experience are all needed. The reason why I mention Rack Pro is that they did quite well in this for these two years. Rack Pro has valued technical service and technical support for many years and we can learn the latest technology of the equipment and likewise they have chances to practice in the site and know well what would be needed and what needs to be followed. With all that being said, let's take a look at what exactly is being used in these three New Year events. First, let's go to the biggest set of the three Hunan TV in Heiko. The biggest challenge of all is the acoustics of the Wuyang River Stadium because not many stadiums carefully design and implement acoustic treatment. Multiple arrays are used to make sure the system covers the entire 20,000 audience. As well as reflections, the stage size also means the work is not easy it is over 100 meters wide and has a trapezoidal extension. To cover the entire area, he has to push the system to its limit. 20 K1 plus 4 K2 are used for the main array, and that is the L Acoustics K1 fly bar limitation. Other than that, there are two arrays as the center cluster, each of them made up of 16 K2. Side fill, just next to the main PA, includes 8K1 plus 4K2. Each side has 2K1 plus 4K2 to cover the audience at the rear. Several delay arrays deliver the sound to the second and third stands, all made up of 8K2. To drive the massive system, there are 60 LA8 and 50 LA12 on site. Nearly 400 speakers are used as PA, fill, delay, monitor, and sub. A total 
of five SD5s and one SD7 quantum console control the mix for the PA, monitors and OB. If it's not the biggest system in Chinese history, it's definitely the biggest system of 2020. Back in Shenzhen, DNS and Jin's team face another enemy, time. For an event the scale of Zhouzhen TV's New Year show, you would usually set up five days beforehand. But this time, late at night on the 26th of December, less than five days to the show, the equipment has only just arrived. They have to fly 24K2 and 16K1 sub in no time and stack the 8 KS-28 on the ground ASAP. For the front fill, 22 Kara are used and are ready to make the VIP area rock and roll. 30 X-15 high Q across the stage set are used as monitor speakers. We had to adjust the timetable, tuning and flying the system to complete everything in a short time. Thanks to the hard work of the teams and my friends, the final result is excellent. Four SD5 with several stage boxes are in the optic loop. Two SD5 at front of house and two at monitors. The best part of that is that they are 100% redundant and make sure the show will never stop. An SD10 and an SD9 are used just for the vocal mix and the OB desk is a Quantum 7 broadcasting version. Last, we are going to take you to Shanghai and they have nine Digico SD range consoles on both the main stage and at a parallel venue 40 kilometers away. Two SD5 Quantums as front of house, main and backup with another two SD5 Quantums responsible for the monitor mix plus an additional SD5 on site for bands that require individual monitor mixing. For the broadcast, two SD7 Quantums are used. The parallel venue uses an SD10 for the main PA with an SD8 as backup. The main stage is controlled by Xiao Yong and Max Team and Cheng Wei Ming, who is an outstanding mixer, handles the parallel venue. With so many consoles and positions, you definitely need a great team to operate the system. At Max Team, we don't own any hardware. We build our team around the service, just like this time, where the producer came to us and we collaborated with the Rack Pro and Dragon TV tech teams to service the show and Panuo provides hardware. The core of Max Team is people and service. For the audio system in Shanghai, there are 14 K2 per side and 8 KS28 flow behind each array. Side fill is 32 Kara 2 and 32 Kara. Kara 2 are used between the main array and the Kara side fill because the angle of Kara 2 can be adjusted to 70 degrees, minimizing the interference. What is really unique about the system is that SIVA and SIVA Low are placed next to the stage, firing at the stage side audience. Thanks to the slim profile of SIVA, you can hardly see it, but you can always hear it. As we come close to the end, the three phenomenal masters give their reason for choosing L Acoustics and Digico. I choose L Acoustics and Digico because they are the standard in the market. We don't want to use A today and switch to B tomorrow, especially in the touring business. We definitely want to use one product that we feel is reliable and is easy to find everywhere. After I started using Digico, I found that it was beyond anyone's imagination. You only need to think of what it can do and Digico will deliver more. L Acoustics to me is like using drugs. The sound is really addictive. We own K1 
we continue with K2 and we have Kudo and now we have just bought K3. The products always amaze us and never let me down. As the masters say, L Acoustics and Digico will always be there for you, delivering the best sound and helping the audience enjoy the show.